Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, just welcome. Today is January the 11th, 2021. And we're, I'm going to talk about a possible solution to prevent another parlor massacre or murder, or what you want to call it. Now, if you go to parlor.com, I'm happy to using Firefox because that's the only thing that OBS likes to work with. It is Firefox cannot establish a connection to the server at parlor.com. The site could be temporarily unavailable or too busy. Try again in a few moments. If you're unable to load any pages, check your computer network connection. If your computer or network is protected by a firewall or proxy, make sure that Firefox is permitted to access the web. Try again. Yes, Parlor has been taken down by Amazon AWS services. Now, this is a problem because, as the left says, all these platforms are a private company and they can host whoever they want and kick whoever they want off. Now, when it comes to a user base, I don't really have a solution because some people can get awfully nasty. Now, this is strictly for businesses like Parler, Twitter, Google, Facebook, that rely on a third-party hosting site, as in this example, Amazon AWS. Now, I thought of this when I was at work, just kind of thinking, trucking along, you know, what if web hosting sites had to be treated like property? You know, if I were to go open up a business at a local shopping mall, I am actually have certain protections, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm not a lawyer or a real estate lawyer or within real estate, so I'm just assuming, but I'm just guessing that there's certain regulations that go into the landlord of said buildings. In this example, let's treat those services like land or as a office building to where you do have certain protections, as in through evictions. So I'm assuming that Parler every month pays a monthly subscription, aka rent, to be hosted on Amazon servers. So therefore, they are renting those servers. So therefore, it could be considered like a virtual, a virtual mall, and they would need, they should fall under certain protections through eviction laws. As of now. If I were in that said shopping mall, actual physical location, and the landlord wants to kick me out, they either one, raise the rent to where I can't pay, and then give me a 30-day notice through legal means to kick me kick me out. Now, I think that same thing should apply here. Now, let's go a step further. So, let's say certain regulations were in place to treat Amazon AWS as land, or as property that you're renting, a, that means Amazon cannot make a public statement that they're kicking you off is to protect the said business, in this case, Parler, that you're not welcome. Now, I understand in the argument that people need to vet who they have go into their property, but I think in all fairness, that should be remained silent because I think we, at least in my opinion, Parler was kicked off because Donald Trump was moving there and they wanted to silence him. Now, that's just my personal opinion. I don't know if that's a fact. But I think if we were to treat these services when it comes to businesses, a.k.a. website hosting platforms. Now, this goes with Amazon, GoDaddy. Um, I think GatorNet is another one of them. Uh, Squarespace, if you are running a website, I think they should, by law, through regulation, give you 30 days ahead notice that they'll be terminating you. Now, there are certain cases where there'd be exemptions. One is if they were breaking the law and actually inciting violence. And I know that's the excuse that they're using, but I disagree with that their reason. But there was actually, let's say, selling drugs illegally on that site, yes, go ahead and seize them and report them to local um, officials. But outside of that, if you're a platform or a business 
being run on these, I think you should be protected under the eviction laws. That's all I had to say. I think that's a good solution um, to the issue of Parler being pretty much killed off overnight over the weekend because of political whims. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.